my people. Hey. Well, I'm coming here today. I got something I want to talk to you guys about. Um, we're not paying attention to where we're at in time. Like, literally, we need to open our eyes and um, see what the masses is doing. Like, they are running so many different type of experiments on us, too. It don't make any sense. Like, for instance, um, they're trying all they can to upset the very people they already have on the bottom. The very people that they already have oppressed. And what I mean by that is, okay, they're trying to get us in an uproar. They're trying to figure out what part of us as a whole can they trigger to start a race war. So, they, they when, when they started killing our young men um, in the streets, policemen, police brutality, that's a race war. That's something trying to wake up blacks as a whole. They want us all to wake up and start acting ignorant one day so they can come in with their martial law and they F AKKs and their military army, men and women. And what's so bad about it? The military that they're trying to bring in, the martial law that they're trying to bring in behind this behavior that they're trying to create amongst us as a people, actually, it's our people that's in this military, that's in this army, that you are trying to use to still kill the very people that the Most High would never let you kill and destroy. You cannot destroy us. You can kill some of us, but us as a, as a race of people, we can't be destroyed. I mean, y'all have tried and tried and tried. We just can't be destroyed. Can't be wiped out at no point in time. So y'all done start mixing with us. Uh, got all our our men and women that y'all is giving money to. That y'all giving a chance to be on the big screen TV. Or a chance to play basketball and football on the big screen TV for main screen media. It's still something there. It's still a gender behind it. You know what the gender is? You keeping them with the white people. You making sure that money stay in the white people pocket. You limited what they can do with this money. These people just can't freely go around and help or do anything with their millions of dollars that they are making on the main screen TV. No. It's limited as to what they can do with that money. I'm just saying is that we as the woke ones, um, we got to continue to try to wake up people because they are coming up with all different types of things to start a race war with us black people and, and it's just not they, they, they just haven't gotten the right trigger yet they are stealing our kids through sex trafficking and they are now working with our own kind with sex trafficking our own kind is now within the ring of these evil wicked people that sits in high and dark places the most i talk about those we don't bless against we don't fight against flesh we fight against principality so fresh flesh and principality is what we fight against what we need to understand is that these people have it out for us because we are the chosen people they're mad with the people that they already robbed and stole and took from i mean it took you four generations for us to forget who we are. It took you only four generations to wipe us. You haven't wiped us out as a people, but you have wiped us out of our mindset that we forgot we come from kings and queens. That we are the chosen people. And that y'all people once served us. We didn't have you enslaved, but you definitely served us. Because we gave you jobs. Which eventually led to we let one of you crooked suckers in too high and y'all was able to rob us because we was good people. We was nice people. We was reasonable people. We were people who made sure that every man and woman ate and every man and woman was comfortable. We wasn't no dirty people. We had love in our heart and we was willing to hear. We was willing to listen. We was willing to help. And that's what cost us. That very love that the Most High gave us and want us to still live by till this day. But see, we didn't we didn't use our wisdom with our love. So it wouldn't have been overpowered by you people that's trying to keep us under. And by you people that's still trying to figure out a way to create a race war to where is that? To where is that 
y'all can come in and kill more of us or come in and come up with martial law so you can put people off in camps and continue to do as you will the most high wrath is already upon you people and that but our people don't get too happy about the most high's wrath being upon our oppressors because if you knew who he was talking about and who that word and who that book is for then you know that God's wrath comes to you first before he gets to your oppressors we're going to be cursed in all type of ways we're going to be slaughtered and killed we're going to look down and see men women and children dead in front of you on the ground beside you on the ground we're going to see these things because the most high speak of it in his word so don't get too happy because the most high's wrath is coming upon these people not unless you're living right not unless you got yourself together but i tell you y'all black men and women we need to wake up because the weapon is formed against you and it's formed against you from both ways it formed against us because we are cursed because our forefathers did not keep the law, statute, and commandments. And it's formed against you. And it's formed against you because we are the chosen people. And by us not keeping his law, statute, and commandment, we have to die. We have to see our children die. We have to go through all this hellhole here on our own land because we just chose not to listen. Black men and women got to wake up and wake up our children because the masses are planning every day. They don't sleep. They stay at the round table trying to figure out the next move to trigger you black people. And they just can't figure out how to trigger us. But they're not going to trigger us because the most high is not going to allow that to happen. He got a deep sleep upon his people. And by that deep sleep being upon his people is the reason why the masses cannot trigger us to where they can get this massive war started against us in this race war we can't be triggered because we are in a deep sleep so y'all can stop trying what you're gonna do is trigger your own kind not us you're gonna trigger your own kind which you already doing your children are already crazy they running around killing up the shooting up schools killing their mother see y'all got rich to not even have children to really leave it to to be honest with you y'all white people y'all had plans for y'all generation 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 to come as y'all had plans to wipe out our generation. But what y'all fail to realize is that y'all not even gonna have a generation of people because they're crazy. They're running around killing up one, killing up the mommy and daddy and y'all only having one or two children. Y'all family tree is small as fuck. That's why you don't have come out. I hear people say, why I never hear white people say that's my cousin? Because the motherfuckers don't have cousins. They mammy only had one or two children one of them was suicide and killed themselves. Then the one that they didn't kill himself only had one or two children. So there you have it. Their family tree is short as fuck. It's not enough of them. And the children that they thought they was get building this wealth up for, they either on drugs, they're crazy, they're killing one another, they're killing the parents, they're killing the grandparents. So you see what I'm trying to tell you, white people? You could never, never, ever wipe us out. Even with y'all beginning to mate with us. Um, we still can't be wiped out. We may be changing our bloodline, making it from strong to weak by mixing with these other races. Something that y'all took and ran with. Y'all took what we were supposed to be doing and tried to apply it to y'all life by telling y'all children to not mix with us. Then once you see y'all only was having one or two children and the only way y'all can stay here on earth is that you have to stop mixing with those people, which is us. We don't supposed to mix with you. We wasn't supposed to adapt and took your ways. We wasn't supposed to be fooling with the heathens. But we did that. So now the most high wrath is upon us and we have to go through what we got to go through. We got to go through this. Yeah. We got to wake up black men and women and we got to tell one another that we are the target. We have always and will forever be the target. And until we wake up and understand that they are trying to find a way to get us to act out in a race war to come in with martial law. We have to wake up. We have always been the chosen people and will forever be the chosen people. Nothing can, can only we can change that and we're not even doing that. We got to wake up black men and women. Wake up. Wake up. We're the one they want. 
wake up. Like, share, and subscribe.